Hi, I'm Justin Donaldson, a research intern with MyStrands, and I'm going to show a new interactive network visualization that I've been working on. What you're looking at now is a very small version of the visualization itself. The few scattered nodes you see are different artists, represented by one of their album covers. If we don't have album cover information for an artist, you'll see a default gray CD case. These artists all have songs that have recently been played by a member of the MyStrands community. In fact, you can see the user and the track associated with the artist by mousing over the artist node. You also see a larger square image of the album art. The visualization uses a technique called force directed placement to position the artist nodes on the screen. This is a common technique used in graph or network visualization. The artists from different users' play streams will in fact repel each other by default using an algorithm that simulates an electrostatic field. This repellent force is part of what makes the force directed placement work. We can pick up a node by clicking and dragging it to a new position, and you can see how the visualization reorients itself to accommodate the new node position. The repel force isn't the only force that's active. If a user plays two consecutive songs by different artists, the visualization will link them with a colored line. You will also notice now that the artists are attracted to each other and will follow each other around on the screen if either one of them is moved. This force algorithm simulates a spring or piece of elastic between the two nodes. As a side note, if you notice at the bottom of the screen, we have Musica, the company mascot. When you click on any artist node, Musica will give you extended information on that artist, including all the users that have played that artist and all the tracks that were played. If you click on the track or usernames, you'll be taken to the MyStrands page for that user or track so that you can get more information. Notice now that there are several new nodes on the page. New artist nodes will appear regularly, as users from all over the world listen to their music. In fact, there will be so many that I can't show them all at once, so I'll have to zoom out a bit. As the users listen to their music, call-out bubbles will show up indicating which users had recent activity for which artist. Eventually, more and more connections between artists will form, as users create links between them. You will commonly see very popular artists form hubs, from which other lesser popular artists will be attached. Although because this is based on user behavior, it's unpredictable and anything could happen. We now have enough nodes to completely fill the screen and we'll start to see a lot of the strands of artists connect together. Keep your eye on the lower right hand corner of the visualization. Two users will play the same artist, causing their strands to connect. There is an upper limit on how many nodes can be on screen at any one time. However, as new artist activity comes in, old artists will be deleted, so that the visualization will constantly be changing. Finally, the video doesn't really do the visualization justice. Please go check out the full screen version at http labs.mystrands.com forward slash artistnet. 